And uh, we have a special guest today, a young lady from Auburn High School. She's had a great career there. She's a senior. Uh, she uh, ran cross country this year. She came and talked to us over back yeah. road in, the, in our early uh, kickoff stuff. Mm -hmm. Had a great time with her there. She is still doing well in indoor track. And with us today, we have Auburn's Janelle Ferguson. Hey, Janelle, how are you doing? Hi. I'm doing good. Hey, are you getting excited to get outside and run some track now that the weather's maybe going to shape up a little bit in the next week or so? I am. Outdoor season starts next week, so hopefully it warms up a bit. You know, I know they've had an indoor season here for a while now, but how nice is it to have, you know, some of your facilities of your own there that you can run in? Oh, it's been great. Like, I've had such a strong indoor season, and it's definitely due to, like, Auburn's indoor track because I could run no matter what the weather is. And get in also some faster work that I've never been able to do during the winter. You know, when I ran track back in the old days, I ran sprints. You know, those 50 meters and all that you kind probably of stuff. I ran like, a barefooted too, didn't you? Yeah, probably. <laughs> and I had a loincloth on and all that <laughs> stuff. But anyway, you run the big ones. You run the 1600 and the 3200 all in the same event. How prepared do you have to be for that when you go to a, a meet? Because that's a lot of that's a lot of running yeah, and competitively. Like this, besides indoor conference, I usually have just run either the mile or the two mile because it's a lot to do both but obviously over the winter i need to build up a lot of mileage to be prepared for such long events coming in and like i've always been able to get the mileage in just running outside but like having the track and i could do a little bit of the faster work means i'm ready sooner coming in you know they're both long distance runs but do you approach each one differently um Definitely. The mile is a lot more speed-based. It is half the distance of the two-mile. And I prefer the mile. I feel like I can focus for the whole race and not just sit back. Um, the two-mile, I used to think coming into high school is going to be my specialty. But I, my last year, uh, I didn't have a very good season with the two-mile. But this year, I think I'll be racing it more and focusing on it more. I already set a personal record this season in the two-mile at a, one of our home meets, so that was really great. And so I don't know if I'm going to focus for, like, outdoor season on the two-mile or the mile, probably the mile, but I'll have to see how it goes. You know, two miles is a long run, you know. A lot, lot of time uh, with, with your own thoughts. What do you think about while you're running that long? Well, um, I guess pacing, especially if I don't have much competition. Uh, you don't want to go out too hard, but at the same time, if you go out too slow, low it's going to be a lot to catch back up so i indoors it's actually 16 laps wow. so it's, it's a lot but um yeah i just need to like work on being focused on the race not just falling into a slower pace especially when there's not other people around to run with so you're not like doing homework in your head while you're running or trying to think about what you're going to do with your friends later yeah. Not. That's more for practice. <laughs> you know, we're talking with Janelle Ferguson from Auburn. She, you also had a great uh, cross country season. How different is it running cross country than it is track? I mean, you got some uh, at least some scenery when you're running. Right. Yeah. Um, cross country ended really well for me this year. Very. I was very surprised that I made it to state because I had a few of weaker meets a few weeks before. But um, compared to track, I. I personally, I don't know if I like track better, but I, I run. I've had better, like, times in track and had more success in track than cross country. It could just be, like, the time of year, but I really like both. Te like, cross country has a lot of team aspects, which are really fun about it. And, yeah, the scenery and everything. Not a big fan of hills, but, uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I guess I prefer track somewhat, but I think um, cross country has a lot of fun aspects. What's the biggest difference to you between indoor running and outdoor running? Um, indoor running, the curves are a lot tighter on the track, so I have a harder time getting in, like, the speed, I guess. Um, so, I, I mean, I, everyone sees drops in their times going into the outdoor season. But I think for me, it's just kind of running at that angle, and especially in the distance events where I have to do it over and over, I think it kind of slows me down running on the smaller track. You know, are the tracks basically the same you know on the indoor tracks or is there different features that make them uh that you something you have to handle each time you go to a different location um well i mean the outdoor tracks are 400 meters indoors are 200 meters but besides that the surfaces usually indoor tracks you can't wear spikes on the ones at auburn you can if there are certain mm -hmm. lengths. um and then like if you look at hananiga's track it's a very like smooth surface so, like, the surfaces vary, and, like, they just 
they're just overall not as fast as outdoor tracks. So, like, that's kind of a big adjustment going into the outdoor season. You know, what's your goal as you get into the outdoor season? What do you want to accomplish there this year? Um, I've thought about, uh, since I'm off to a strong start in the mile, I'd really like to hit, like, a 505 mile, and that would be, like, by the end of the season, maybe at the sectional or hopefully if I make it to state, the state meet. Um, I also, like... I haven't really thought too much about the two-mile, but I'd like to qualify for both the two-mile and the mile for outdoor state. I've usually only qualified for one or the other in the past two years. So, yeah, I guess we'll see which event is my strong event. I think I also saw you ran on some relays, and I think you, a couple of them had an 800 on there. Do you like running those 800s? Yeah. Um, if I'm not running the two-mile, I could run the 4 by 8 and it's kind of neat because I usually lead off, so it's it's almost it feels like an open 800 when you're leading off and everyone's at the same place. Um, but it's really nice to do that if I'm just running the mile at the end of the meet because I could start off and kind of loosen up by running the 4x8 and kind of get a practice run in almost. So that's fun. You know, your high school career is coming to a close here. Are you looking to continue to run when you get into college? I we am. I actually, this week, I am... Uh, decided I'm going to attend UW Platteville, and I'm. I chose. It was a very tough decision, but they have a great engineering program, and I want to major in mechanical engineering. And they also, I really like the coach and the team, and their teams have had a lot of success in cross country and track. So, like, it's. I'm happy to be going into such a strong program and also get the academic side in college. So it's a really good fit. You're actually telling us news that a lot of people didn't know, right, Janelle? Yeah, yeah. Like, I've told um, a few of my coaches, not even all my coaches, <laughs> and, um, I mean, the people I talk to at school, but I haven't even been told, like, my teachers yet or anything. So, yeah, because it's pretty recent. Like, I decided this week. Well, thanks, Janelle. We like that. Maybe we'll start a trend. You know, you're the first one to announce your college choice. We can give other folks that opportunity in the future. Oh, yeah. You know, what went into that decision? I know you kind of talked about the schooling, you know. What, what was it about them as compared to some of the other schools maybe that, that, you know, made you decide that was the one for you? Yeah, okay. The other two schools that I were considering was Bradley University and Marquette. Um, both Division One programs. Now, all three of the schools I looked at had really good engineering programs. So, like, I didn't know if that was really going to be a deciding factor because they were just also good academically. But um, athletically, the Division One programs... I thought about it a lot because it's a lot more demanding, and then there's, like, possibilities of athletic scholarships and everything. Um, but, like, I don't – individually, I don't know how much of an impact I can make at the Division One level. Um, and also, it's not a very, like, individualized program since they have a freshman class coming in that, I mean, I'm just right in the middle. And, like, I feel like at Platteville, it'll be a lot – I'll have a lot more, like, individual attention with the running and i think i could focus more on myself rather than just trying to make a varsity team or something like that so i just see myself going further in division three and also i mean Platteville's a good size school it's pretty small and everything and i i was thinking about going to the city with marquette in milwaukee um not like i thought about it a lot and i wanted that initially but i do like the relaxed feel that Platteville has since it's just kind of like a college town in the country area, and I, I, I think I feel more comfortable with that. And I know one of your biggest supporters, your coach, Marty, he always keeps me updated on you, and has that helped a lot to have somebody like that really help you and encourage you? <laughs> it's great. He's always, like, posting on the Auburn pages and everything what I'm doing, so it's really encouraging and everything. He's very enthused about me making indoor state that I'll be running at tonight, and... Yeah, he's he's very excited. You know, we've kind of talked about that with some of the other sports at Auburn, you know, football, basketball, you know, and just some of the excitement. Does that help, you know, when, when not just, you know, you have a coach that's involved, but it seems like a lot of the coaches there are really involved these days. Does that just kind of help oh, really build that definitely. spirit at school? Like, yeah, it's like whenever the basketball team's doing well and, like, at the same time I'm trying to make state for, like, indoor or whatever, it's really nice having, like, I, like the sports around Auburn, like you know, it's just kind of the atmosphere that everyone's just getting um, really excited about the sports in general. And also, like I know I've had uh, Coach Ott as a U.S. history teacher, 
And so, like, it's kind of neat having um, some of the coaches teach, and they'll always ask about my running and everything. So it's it, Auburn's been just really supportive of me, which is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> and you also have a scholastic team that won a state championship. Did you try out for that, Janelle? Oh, yeah, that's it's so exciting. Yeah, Auburn's doing really well in sports and everything. Well, you know, before I let you go, Janelle Ferguson, you know, you're a lot of fun to be around. We had fun with you at Back Road. You know, it's prom season, right? Have you got the dress picked out and everything? Um, I have just, well, uh, the rumor is I'm going to be asked. Prop. <laughs> the rumor is, you know, you're the you're my favorite guest I've ever had. And when I was at Back Road, you were so good about that. And now you're going you're gonna to break that news to us too, or are you just going to leave it out in the air for us to guess? You won the prom right now. I wish I could, but um, I think I should probably wait a little. <laughs> but you're still available just in case, right? You you, you don't want to shut that door yet, right? Yeah. Are you going to go to more than one prom? Just all birds? Are you going to go to some other proms maybe too? Use that dress a lot. I think just Auburn. <laughs> just Auburn. Are you? You know, it's kind of one of those things where you're excited, but it's the senior year. I mean, this is it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what color is the dress? Just tell me. Can you tell me? Give me an idea what color the dress might be, or just the. I'm still debating. I'm very excited though. That's what I'm going to spend my spring break doing shopping. <laughs> for prom dresses. Great. You know, my daughter got a prom dress. I think they've gone up a little bit in price since then, though. They are very expensive. <laughs> is the family okay with that? Um. Yeah. If I have a date, maybe they'll cover my ticket. Yeah, <laughs> I think you'll have a date. He'll have to be. He'll have to be fast to catch you, though. I mean, if he's going to be chasing and everything, so. <laughs> yeah, the guy might be a football player. So the guy might be a football right. player. Wow. Well, let's start going through the roster now. See That's if we can figure right. it out here. That's right. Hey, you know what? Thanks for being on, Janelle. This is. I know you guys have spring break this week, yeah. and you had to get up early on a Saturday. Did I hear you say you're running tonight for state? I am. I leave this afternoon, and I I qualified in both the two mile and the mile. But the mile is the only one I'm running tonight. Where's that at? There. Where's the meet at? Oh, Gen- it's at um, Illinois Wesleyan in Bloomington. Yeah, and they've got a nice track. I've seen that. And they do a lot of stuff with indoor track, if I'm not mistaken, right? They yeah. they do a lot of the uh, reporting of high school stuff. It's new, the track. So, like, they moved it there a few years ago. I've never qualified for this meet before. And I was looking at, like, the heat sheet and... I am, like, it's definitely probably the most competitive race I've ever been in. Wow. You know, so it'll be interesting. Well, you know, it's got a green color, kind of like Michigan State color, the track. I've seen it, so that'll be good for you, I think. Yeah, it's supposed to be a really fast track. Just in the well, and everything. well, Janelle, thanks for being on. Keep us updated on the prom stuff, would you? <laughs> I will. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much, Janelle, and good luck. Thanks so much. Bye. Uh-huh.